Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've come down to the coast of North Ayrshire, just down to the, the village of Porton Cross, uh, which has got some nice views across the, the Firth of Clyde to the Isle of Arran. And uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be a nice spot for sunset tonight. It's looking quite promising. We've got uh, a nice mix of clear blue sky and clouds. And uh, it's looking like the sun's going to dip below the southern end of the island. I was kind of hoping it would be a wee bit further north. So that I could get the, the sun dipping behind the mountains in the north of Arran. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. I'll try a couple of things, different things tonight, um, as well as the usual kind of landscape stuff, super saturated colours, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and do a black and white sunset, something I've not really tried before. Uh, and I'm also going to experiment with how I'm going to present the photographs to you. So if you like the way that I do it in this video, could you leave me a comment and let me know? Because uh, it might be the way I do it going forward, if it works. <laughs> we'll see. Unusual for me, I'm actually here a wee bit early. I'm here about an hour before sunset. Although you can probably tell from the shadow here, the sun is already very low on the horizon. So what I'm going to do is uh, change out my walking boots and I'll take a wander up past the, the castle, uh, up to the shoreline up there and uh, see if I can find a nice spot to, to shoot from. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy. And uh, it's very windy again tonight, so I might not do an awful lot to camera. Anyway, see you in a minute. Okay, so this is the image that I thought would look good as a black and white. As you can see, it's, it's a fairly standard sunset image. We've got a lot of kind of saturation up here. Got quite some nice light on the island of Arran, just about here. But, um, you know, otherwise it's, it's a fairly standard um, landscape image. But what I thought I could do with this is uh, I really like the, the detail on these rocks here. Um, and obviously most of the light is coming from kind of this general direction and uh, what I thought I would do is apply a, a black and white filter over the image really emphasize the light in this area here uh, I like the way that the light in black and white it was kind of curving around these rocks and all leading towards the island and the sunset. You also have a little bit of a kind of starburst here effect where you can just make out all these uh, rays. I thought that added to the, the drama of the image and also it shows that it is actually a sunset. You know, you can see that the, the sun is low on the horizon because remember as a black and white, we're going to lose all this saturated color. So in terms of composition, I pretty much <laughs> broke all the rules. It's not in a rule of third, it's not in a golden ratio or anything like that. I just placed the, I wanted to re reduce the amount of sky that we had because that was obviously extremely bright and this foreground was going to be very, very dark. So um, I placed the sky as close as possible to the top while still retaining the, the mountains here. And uh, 
I deliberately included the the sun and that starburst in the image, and uh, yeah, shot shot the image like that. I exposed for here the darkest area, um, knowing that we were probably going to lose a bit of detail in the in the brighter sky here, but that was deliberate. Uh, I wanted to make sure I retained some detail in in these grasses here, and. Uh, in terms of post-processing, it was converted to black and white. Uh, I did a little bit of traditional dodging burning on it. Um, tried to bring down some of the the highlights in the sky. Tried to bring up some of the shadows in the foreground. I applied a little bit of a, a kind of autumn glow type thing. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way that this ended up as a black and white. Um, I'm going to leave it till the end though, so you'll see it at the end how it looks once it's been processed. But yeah, that's uh, it would appear you can shoot sunsets in black and white, yeah? who knew? Well, we certainly are starting to get a, a bit of colour in the sky. It looks like we're going to lose the sun in the next maybe 20 minutes or so. But if you can make out just over here, you've got some light rays coming over the top of these hills. So I'm kind of hopeful that if the sun dips down behind the Aran, we'll get some quite dramatic sun rays bursting through from between the hills. That's the hope anyway, but it is looking nice and the sun's about to disappear behind the clouds so I'm hoping that's going to allow the exposure to even out a little bit.
So that's it for another video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up if you did. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier in the video, assuming it made the final cut, I'm hoping to present the images to you in a slightly different way. So I'd be really keen to get some feedback. Uh, leave a comment below if you think the new way works or not. Um, not 100% sure I know how I'm going to do it yet, so it's going to be a bit of trial and error, but uh, hopefully it'll provide a lot more information and uh, I'm hoping that it makes the video a wee bit more enjoyable and a bit easier to flow. But we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time. Cheers, bye.